please join us in the call to worship. God is with the people. God dwells in their midst. Come, listen, and hear God speak. Our hearts long for God's word. We wait upon the Lord so that we may renew our strength. God is our help and our support. God's spirit moves among us to lead us in holiness and righteousness all our days. With joyful hearts, we sing God's praise. We, with rejoicing, we call upon God, who is our hope and our salvation. Amen. Please join me in the opening prayer with the Lord's Prayer using deaths. God, my soul is sad. My heart is hopeless. I'm frowning within and without. But I know the cure. The crack in my heart can be mended by you. The thirst in my throat can be quenched by you. How refreshing you are. I spend a few minutes in worship and you replace everything that is missing. You rehydrate my heart. You replenish my spirit. So I'm telling my soul, cheer up. I'm counseling my heart, have hope. For you, my God, are all I need and more. Hear these words that Jesus taught his disciples, saying, Our Father, Mother, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our contemporary sacred reading is from Psalms in Ordinary Voices. This is Psalm 46 by Marian Van Arsdale, a teacher. God is our comfort and our support beside us when we are most in need. So we will not be afraid, even when the world is filled with change and insecurity. Even though the very waters of the earth are troubled and earthquakes shake the mountains, there is a river steady and calm that carries the promise of peace to God's city, a holy place. God is there in the midst of the city and will protect and sustain that place. Though evil surrounds us and threatens our security, God's voice can calm the world. The Lord of all time is with us. The God of our ancestors is our hiding place. Look again at the works of the Lord, how he has laid waste to evil. God brings an end to wars, breaking the bow and the spears, burning the chariots. Listen then and know that I am God. I will triumph over disbelief and be honored in all parts of the world. The Lord of all time is with us still. The God of our ancestors is our comfort in all of our troubles.
Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. He utters his voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations he has brought down on the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. These are holy words. Thanks be to God. Amen. I would like to share with you now a poem entitled The Peace of Wild Things by Wendell Berry. When despair for the world grows in me, and I wake in the night at the least sound, in fear of what my life and my children's lives may be, I go and lie down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water, and the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of wild things who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief. I come into the presence of still water, and I feel above me the day-blind stars waiting with their light. For a time I rest in the grace of the world and am free. Our meditation and reflection this evening will be one of meditation on part of Psalm 46. And so I ask that you get into a comfortable position, close your eyes if that feels comfortable, and just absorb these words. Let us gather our hearts in quietness. Be still and know I am God. Be still and know I am. Be still and know. Be still. Be. Be. Be still. Be still and know. Be still and know I am. Be still and know I am God. Take these words and this meditation with you through your week. It is easy to memorize and to hold and to meditate on each line. Be still and know that I am God. Thanks be to God. Amen.
Join me in the unison prayer of thanksgiving. This is the prayer of Saint Boniface. Eternal God, the refuge and help of all your children, we praise you for all you have given us, for all you have done for us, for all that you are to us. In our weakness, you are strength. In our darkness, you are light. In our sorrow, you are comfort and peace. We cannot number your blessings. We cannot declare your love. For all your blessings, we bless you. May we live as in your presence and love the things that you love and serve you in our daily lives through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We come to the end of this reflective service. And as we enter into the week, may you have time during the week to be still and know God is with you. And so with this benediction, may the road rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, May you be held in the palm of God's hand. Amen. Go now in peace.